Hello everybody and welcome to our third Technology Tuesday tutorials. So today we're going to go into incognito browser and uh, some URL hacks or URL tips that you can use when sharing stuff in Google Drive with other people. So the first thing I wanted to mention is uh, the incognito browser. You can get to this by clicking on the three dots up at the top right of your Chrome browser and choosing new incognito window. And what this does is it basically opens up a version of Chrome where you will not be tracking any of the uh, sites you visit or uh, none of the cookies that you leave behind or, or anything like that. Um, this is important because it also wipes the browser in a sense of all of your uh, presence. It's handy if you are using someone else's computer and you don't want your uh, data saved on there. But it's also very useful to determine what a site or page or something else will look like if you're not logged in. Because this is a version of the browser with nothing on, nothing on it, nothing logged in, uh, nothing active, no accounts uh, uh, ready. So this is a good way to see how JQ Public might see your document that you might share in Google Drive. So let's say that you've got a document that you want to share and um, you go into the share button and you set your settings to where anyone can view it. You copy that link and you want to test this. Well, you can put it into your browser, but it's just going to show what you're able to see. So to test this, you go into the new incognito window and you paste that there. And this is what you'll see. You'll see the document as the public will see it. And notice that it only allows me to view and I get the option to sign in. So I know I'm not signed in, right? This is a incognito window, it's clean. So the, um, the problem with sharing presentations is that you're given this kind of editing view instead of the presentation view, the present view. Now people can still click on the present button, but you might want to share it with them so where they see the kind of a, a natural preview of it. You can do that by uh, editing the URL at the top where it says slash edit. Replace that and everything afterwards with slash preview. And you will then be taken to um, the actual you know, preview version of this where you can see the presentation and people can jump to different slides and so on and so forth. So again, you replace the slash edit with slash preview, right? This also works with other kinds of documents. So let's say you have a, a, a Google Doc that you'd like to share with some people, but you don't want to give them this, you know, this version of it that has all the interfaces and the menus and stuff like that. So the public would see this normally and they would see you know, kind of the file and edit options up there. So again, if you change the slash edit to slash preview, then they get a clean look at your document and that's it. So if you want to share a link with someone and give them the ability to make a copy of the document, uh, kind of like a template or something like that, you can change the slash edit to slash copy and instead of showing them the document, it's going to prompt them to make a copy for themselves. And that way they don't have to know to go up to file and make a copy or anything else. So again, that's the other option, slash copy, uh, slash preview, and make sure to make good use of the incognito window in order to see sites as the public would see them when you're not logged in. That's it. Thank you very much.